we are now going to solve questions from linear algebra that were given in the sample question paper for, from da paper by isc vandlor so let us look at the questions two eigen values of 3 cross 3 matrix are 1 plus i and 2 the determinant of the matrix x is dash so here they should have given the question this way they should have said the two eigen values of a 3 cross 3 real matrix two eigen values of a 3 cross 3 real matrix x r so when the matrix entries are real numbers we have an interesting property this word is missing in the question paper so they should have given this otherwise then if it is not given then it is not possible to solve the question so if it's a real matrix and if one of the eigenvalue is 1 plus i then the other eigenvalue has to be 1 minus i so for a real matrix if you have the complex eigenvalues then they come in conjugate pairs if one of the eigenvalues 1 plus i then the other has to be its conjugate so 1 plus i comma 1 minus i and then so these are the eigenvalues students so what are these the three eigenvalues of the matrix x they are asking what is determinant of x this is such a silly question the determinant of x is according to the properties of determinant it is equal to the product of the eigenvalues so what's a product it is 1 plus i into 1 minus i into 2 so what is 1 plus i into 1 minus i it is <coughs> 1 square minus i square okay it is 1 square minus i square and then this whole thing multiplied with 2 so 1 square is 1 i square is minus 1 so 1 plus 1 is 2 2 into 2 is 4 so finally the determinant of the matrix is 4 so here what they want to check is if you are given a real matrix if at all you have a one of the eigenvalue to be complex then the other eigenvalue is its conjugate this is what you have to learn from this so simple question <coughs> next for the matrix 2 cross 2 one of the eigenvalue is 5 then what is the other eigenvalue this is a, such a silly question so 5 is one eigenvalue let us assume the other eigenvalue as lambda now what we know is if you add the eigenvalues that is 5 plus lambda this must be equal to the trace it must be equal to the trace that is 9 plus 16 sorry 9 plus 6 so how much is this it is 15 so lambda is 15 you send this to the other side minus 5 therefore the value of lambda is 10 such a simple problem this is if you know that sum of the eigenvalues is equal to the trace of the matrix you can solve in fraction of second so the answer is option b two non-zero vectors x and y are perpendicular if so two vectors are two non-zero vectors are said to be perpendicular if their dot product or the scalar product is zero so if I mean two non-zero vectors x and y are perpendicular if the dot product so where is the dot product equal to zero clearly this is the dot product equal to zero such a simple problem this is <coughs> so, so if you are already aware of uh, uh, vectors which you would have covered in your 10th 11th 12th standard it is a fraction of second it will take fraction of second consider a matrix 0 1 0 a 2 d b 3 c the matrix cannot have rank dash so it's a 3 cross 3 matrix it says the matrix cannot have a rank dash a 3 cross 3 matrix can have a rank 3 it can have rank 2 it can have rank 1 is this a non-zero matrix students clearly this is non-zero now how do you say that it's a non-zero matrix at least one element is non-zero you can declare that matrix is a non-zero matrix look at this don't you think it's a non-zero element don't you think this is a non-zero element don't you think this is a non-zero element clearly these are all non-zero elements we don't know about this a b a d b c values let it be but clearly it's a non-zero matrix a non-zero matrix cannot have rank as zero 
it can have one it can have two it can have three you can select options or you can choose a b c d in such a way that it can have rank three it can have rank two it can rank one you can uh, vary or put different values for a b c d and you can change the rank but rank of this matrix can never be zero because it's a non-zero matrix therefore it cannot be zero this is option a is the right answer for this question so far you look at this this is based on eigenvalue this is based on eigenvalues and eigenvectors this is also based on eigenvalues and eigenvectors <coughs> what are they asking consider the matrix x whose eigenvalues are 1 minus 1 and 3 the trace of x cube minus 3x square is dash they want the trace it seems trace of any matrix trace of any matrix is equal to the sum of the eigenvalues so what is trace of any matrix let's say a it is equal to sum of eigenvalues if you can find the eigenvalues of this matrix then finding the trace is simple 1 minus 1 3 are the eigenvalues of x so what are the eigenvalues of this x cube minus 3x square it is so simple substitute or we all know x cube minus 3x square if you want to find the eigenvalues then you what you do is 1 is the eigenvalue of x so 1 cube minus 3 into 1 square is one of the eigenvalue of this matrix which matrix x cube minus 3x square now what is the next eigenvalue students minus 1 so it is minus 1 whole cube minus 3 into minus 1 whole square is another eigenvalue of this x cube minus 3x square matrix so what next 3 is eigenvalue of x then the eigenvalue of this is 3 cube minus 3 into 3 square is the another eigenvalue try to simplify this this is 1 minus 3 which is minus 2 this is minus 1 this is correct yes this is we are are we doing correctly yes we are doing it correctly this is minus 1 and this is minus 3 which is minus 4 students check it properly so this is minus 1 whole cube is minus 1 and then minus 1 whole square is plus 1 so this is minus 4 this is 3 cube this is also 3 cube if you subtract it is 0 now these are the eigenvalues <coughs> of x cube minus 3x square so what they want is trace if you want the trace trace of which matrix students x cube minus 3 x square then you just add them so minus 2 plus minus 4 plus 0 which is minus 6 therefore the trace of this matrix is minus 6 let me just check the calculations here yeah 1 cube minus 3 so 1 minus 3 is minus 2 yes i'm right and this is minus 1 and then this is minus 3 minus 4 yes and uh, 3 cube minus 3 cube is 0 and then you add yes everything is correct so the trace of x cube minus 3x square is minus 6 let's proceed to the next question <coughs> this is a question on eigenvalues question on eigenvalues and eigenvectors eigenvalues and eigenvectors so many questions are focused on eigenvalues and eigenvectors there is no guarantee that you will also get a question uh, from this it is an important topic you might get one question but after observing this yes it's an important topic at the same time the other topics are also important so nothing like you will uh, uh, focus only on this and leave that nothing like that you have to focus uniformly so every topic is important so let's look at this question for the matrix they gave some matrix 2 cross 2 one of the eigenvector is minus 1 minus 1 then the other eigenvector is dash the other eigenvector is dash so how do you solve this so clearly this is a symmetric matrix students it's a symmetric matrix i studied a property that the eigenvalues uh, of a symmetric matrix are real that's okay but if you look at the eigenvectors if you have distinct eigenvalues then the eigenvectors corresponding to the distinct eigenvalues are always perpendicular to each other so i want to find what are the eigenvalues here since this is already given you can easily find the eigenvalue i'll tell you how so what we do is we multiply it like this so we have a condition like this now h into x must give us lambda into x 
where h is nothing but the given matrix s is nothing but the given eigen vector lambda is nothing but the corresponding eigen value so what is this h it is 3 minus 1 minus 1 3 multiplied with minus 1 minus 1 this has to give us lambda into minus 1 minus 1 so start this comparison you will get the eigen value to the corresponding eigen vector so this is a row this is a column this is minus 3 and then you have this plus 1 next this is plus 1 and then minus 3 has to be equal to what lambda times minus 1 minus 1 how much is this this is minus 2 how much is this this is also minus 2 you can take two out <coughs> if you take two out this is like minus 1 minus 1 equal to lambda times minus 1 minus 1 on comparing clearly the value of lambda so what does this imply this implies that the value of lambda is 2 if lambda is 2 you can find the other eigen value as well so how do you find the other eigen value students so 2 is one eigen value plus let the other eigen value be let's say lambda 2 hmm? this must be equal to the trace that is 3 plus 3 so what is lambda 2 students lambda 2 this is uh, 6 6 minus 2 is 4 clearly whatever eigen values i have got are distinct whatever eigen values we have got they are distinct we have a property that for a symmetric matrix by the way this is symmetric yes it's a symmetric matrix the eigen vectors corresponding to different eigen values or distinct eigen values of a symmetric matrix are perpendicular to each other that means when you find the dot product the dot product will turn out to be zero so this is one eigen vector students and if you try to find the dot product with any of these the dot product must be zero so let's do that verification <coughs> so let's do that verification you can also find the eigen vector if you want that is up to you but this verification will be easy for me in the exam so what do you mean by the dot product suppose if this was the answer then i'll find the dot product this way i think this space will be enough so let us take this vector minus 1 minus 1 let's find the dot product with this how much is this so this is minus 1 and then minus of minus is plus the dot product is zero you are looking for such vectors this can be our answer if i can eliminate the other options then i can mark the answer as option a so let's verify here minus 1 minus 1 is the first eigen vector let's take the dot product with 1 1 this is a row this is a column so if you take the dot product you get minus 2 this is not equal to 0 this option is eliminated so even this option will also be eliminated students now you can check it 1 0 this will give you minus 1 clearly this is not equal to 0 therefore this is also eliminated now the given eigen vector is minus 1 1 let us find the dot product with 0 1 this dot product will result in minus 1 clearly this is also not equal to 0 the only option that fits is option a if you want to know how we have got that as eigen vector then what you do is then you can solve like this a here h is given okay fine so you can look at h minus lambda i into x equal to 0 so what is the value of lambda what is the other eigen value 4 you can substitute that here so something like h minus 4i <coughs> into x equal to 0 you will get the coefficient matrix here reduce this to rho echelon form and then solve for x when you solve for x you will get the eigen vector as 1 minus 1 so that's how you solve it let's go to the next problem so in this question given a matrix a of order m cross n the following statements are made regarding the matrix a the column space is orthogonal to the row space the column space is orthogonal to the left null space the row space is orthogonal to the null space the null space is orthogonal to the left null space which of the statement or statements is are true that means it's a msq so the sample paper they have also specified that msq 
are also or can also be asked so you should be thorough with the four fundamental uh, uh, subspaces so one is column space row space null space left null space if you know their definitions if you know how to deal with those things then this is a very simple question so <clears throat> there is a matrix called a which is of order m cross n so they are asking which statement or statements is correct so let us consider a homogeneous system associated with this matrix so let us say that this be equal to zero now clearly how does a look it looks like this i have just taken some arbitrary matrix like this <coughs> what is order of this how many rows 1 2 3 three rows how many columns four columns 1 2 3 4 <laughs> so what would be the order of x just example purpose this is a 4 cross 1 so you get a zero vector now when you say that a into x is zero okay a into x is zero so what does this mean so if you carefully observe look at this this is the row this is the x so when you multiply this with this you say that the product is zero that means this is a row and uh, this is x so i'll tell you here x is called the null space what is x called the set of all the vectors which satisfy ax equal to 0 the set of all the solutions that is x which satisfy ax equal to 0 will be called a null space so what is this this is null space so when you take this product that is this row into this obviously how much is a dot product students it is zero that means clearly this row and your solution which is present in the null space they are actually perpendicular to each other the dot product would be zero so because the dot product is zero the conclusion is that they are perpendicular now who are perpendicular so something in the row space and some element in the null space so the row space and the null space are perpendicular to each other do you have any option like that the row space is orthogonal to null space this is a true statement just like the null the row space is orthogonal to null space the column space would be orthogonal to left null space okay so what do you mean by left null space so if you take the transpose a transpose into y equal to 0 so the set of all the vectors which satisfy this equation the set of all the vectors called y which satisfy this equation they form left null space left null space so if you similarly analyze you will see that the column space would be orthogonal to the left null space do you have any options like that the column space perpendicular or orthogonal to the left null space yes we have such options so column space and row space no null space and the left null space no row space orthogonal to null space yes so this is the evidence for that this is a row this is the and this is an element in the null space and you take the dot product as zero the same thing can be extended to column space versus the left null space so the correct options are the correct statements are q and r q and r q and r so where is q and r so the answer for this problem is q and r the statements q and r are true so what about p p is a false statement okay uh p is a false statement p is a false statement so yes q and r are the correct statements here 